I'm Elizabeth and I'm a lab technician in the Live Materials Lab. I'm going to talk to you today about your butterfly larvae. When you receive a set of five painted lady butterfly larvae, they'll arrive in a cup like this one. The media will be set at a slant so that it doesn't move during transit. When you receive it, you don't need to do anything to it. You don't even have to open the cup. There's enough food inside the cup to sustain the larvae until they begin to form pupa. If you notice that your larvae are unmoving, this is sometimes normal. When larvae molt, they will not move for several days. If you are concerned that your larvae could be dead, you should wait a day or two and check overnight to see if they have moved or if there's any food gone or any new waste in the bottom of the cup. After about two weeks, the larvae will begin forming chrysalids. When they begin forming chrysalids, they'll move to the top of the cup and begin attaching to the paper towel with a web. If you notice that any of the chrysalids do not attach to the paper towel or fall off, you can reattach them. This is what the, this is what the chrysalids will look like after they've attached the paper towel. If you need to reattach one, pick it up very gently and just press it to the paper towel. It should just attach. If it doesn't attach, you can also take a piece of scotch tape and tape the leftover webbing that's attached to the chrysalid and tape that to the paper towel. Once all of the larvae have formed chrysalids, wait about 24 hours before transferring them to your cage. Waiting 24 hours allows all the chrysalids to harden and removes any chance that you could injure them. After 24 hours, you can transfer them into your cage. Take the paper towel from your cuff, take a piece of scotch tape or a safety pin, and attach it somewhere in your cage. I'm using scotch tape, so I'll attach it to the plastic part of the top. Then close the lid. And in about one week, the chrysalids will emerge as butterflies. As they emerge as butterflies, they may produce a red liquid known as meconium. This liquid is normal. It's a waste byproduct of the transformation process. When your butterflies have emerged, you can provide food for them as sugar water. To make a sugar water mixture, you can take five tablespoons of sugar and mix it in one cup of water. To give it to the butterflies, you can take some cotton balls and put them in a shallow plastic dish and wet them down with the solution. You can put this dish in the bottom of your cage. You should change out the food every few days. We hope you enjoy watching your butterflies, and if you have any further questions about butterflies, you can refer to your Live Materials Care Guide or call our Live Materials Lab. Thanks!